Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Sean Magna and I'm a DJ at UCT Radio and this is the music spot on UCTV. So first off, the uh, 18th annual Sama Awards took place last week and uh, big winners included AKA and Mikasa for their debut albums. They each won two awards. However, it was Zahara who blew away the field with her eight awards from her platinum selling debut album Loliwe. Uh, she won in all categories in which she was nominated including Album of the Year, Female Artist of the Year, Newcomer of the Year and Best Selling Album. Let's not forget the best selling full track Loliwe which had more than 30,000 downloads last year. also won an award for her house version of the track Langomo with DJ Sabu. Speaking of DJ Sabu, he was asked on the red carpet at the Samas about allegations that were slung at him about mismanaging and taking advantage of Zahara. Uh, Zahara's sisters claimed in a Sunday tabloid that Zahara didn't have a bank account, possess a copy of a recording contract, and apparently she's been forced to be TK and Lisa's maid. Uh, Sabu flatly denied the allegations and Zahara has also come out in support of her label boss. I'm not too sure though, Sabu looks like one bona fide hustler. Uh, lastly, on the 4th of May, in a bit of a sad note, founding member of the Beastie Boys, Adam Yao, passed away. He's otherwise known as MCA. He passed away in his home in Brooklyn in New York. He was diagnosed with cancer in 2009 and has been fighting it ever since. The Beastie Boys were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just a few months ago and it seems fitting that Adam was honored in his lifetime. The Yauk is survived by his wife, daughter, and his parents. Rest in peace, MCA. You gotta fight for your right to Alright, so that's it for the first music spot on UCTV with myself, Sean Magna. Uh, you can catch me on UCT Radio 104.5 FM every Sunday, 6 to 9 p.m. It's that new music show, and I'll see you next time.